I want to show is how the stars do the two circles. Okay, the sun does it also. Here is the sun. The sun does the circle and then it flips the equator and goes to the other side. But the stars also spin around the southern pole star and spin around the northern pole star. And I'll explain how they do that. And also the stars that go through the equator, like the uh, Halley's Comet and etc., they go around here in the outside, okay, and then come through the equator from the outside. That's why you see them in so many years, and basically that's how the stars work. They only meet on one side of the equator, which is in the center. The stars go around the outside. You get the main stars that go around the pole, and your planets and etc. But things like Halley's Comet, um, and different comets they come from the outside through the equator and through the outside through the center you understand that but anyway I'll let you watch the video well the easiest way to prove we are not on a spinning ball is the time-lapse photography um, people say that the flat earthers are in the dark ages. Well, we're in 2018 and we can use the technology of today, not technology of 300 BC. And time lapse photography says it all. If the earth was spinning, this is the equator. These stars should be touching these stars, okay? It's making two circles like this. That is basically what it's doing. The stars on this side are not touching the stars on this side, which is the equator line and the equator line. So basically what it means is you have two separate circles of stars. If the stars were spinning, well, the ball was spinning to make the stars go around the ball, they'd all be like this in a vertical line spinning. Okay, and not only that, these stars are doing the small circle and then the bigger circle and bigger circles and bigger circles until they meet at the equator all the way around the ball. So the stars on the southern end are touching the stars on the northern end all the way around the ball, if you understand what I'm saying. If you don't comprehend what I'm saying, it means you are not understanding basically how and what I'm explaining here. And when you look at all time-lapse photography, the stars on this end are not touching the stars on this end, which means that they're not meeting at the equator. They're only meeting at the equator on one, in one area, which is two separate circles of stars. Same again, you have the, the southern stars and the northern stars. Well, these stars all should be meeting at the equator. These stars are going to the north, these stars are going to the south, like how I show here. Every section of this circle on the outside should be touching every section of the circle on this side, like how the ball is in the middle of the stars. These stars at the equator are touching these stars at the equator. Not only that, when you're at the equator, the stars travel in this direction, which is this arc, and the stars are traveling in this arc. They're not traveling in straight lines around the ball, which means that they're traveling like this around the actual, well, the ball would be spinning, but the, the lines would be going in straight lines, not arcing from the equator to the equator and away from the equator to the equator and away from the equator. So that basically proves that we are not on a spinning ball because you'd be getting lines of stars all the way from the equator to the pole. You're finding that the pole is here and the stars are spinning around the pole and meet at the equator at one edge. Okay, All of them. They're arcing this way and arcing this way. You don't get that if you're on a ball spinning arcing both ways, arcing this way, arcing that way. Okay, you, you sort of understand what I'm saying? If you don't understand it, try and comprehend it and then you'll be like, oh fuck, yeah, that's exactly correct. 
arcing this way, arcing that way. If you were on a ball, the lines would be all parallel and and spinning spinning because the ball is spinning these lines would be every single one would be parallel these stars would be making small circles and the further it gets closer to the equator would be making bigger circles to make the the stars in a, a circled time lapse as it goes down and as it goes down but this isn't reality so again they arc in and arc in to the equator and meet at one edge like that anyway thanks for watching